wanted to have a boat that is autonomous, working with the sun, using not fossil fuel, and to show that we can cross the Atlantic exclusively with solar energy. Oh, I think there, there, was, there was one great moment. One morning, the sea was completely calm, like oil. And the silence were absolute over here, like in a church. <laughs> Here the concept is quite different because we are no more in a lake. We've got to live on that ship. We've got to uh, spend more time. And we've got, I mean, the idea was to cross the Atlantic. Donc nous sommes partis de l'Espagne. Nous avons traversé l'Atlantique avec ce cheminement. Nous sommes arrivés euh, en Martinique. Et après, nous sommes montés jusqu'ici à Miami. Et maintenant, nous allons prendre les waterways pour monter jusqu'à New York. Donc c'est moi qui m'occupe de la navigation et je suis donc le skipper du bateau. So it is fitting and appropriate that officials of the city of Miami, on behalf of all of us, welcome Sun 21 to the waters of Miami in this historic the first transatlantic voyage solely on solar power. And so today, as mayor of the city of Miami, I officially declare this Sun 21 day in Miami. The US and Switzerland have a long tradition of environmental protection in specific fields. So it is important to further support all efforts which will allow our children and grandchildren to live better in an environment we carefully hand down to them. The Sun 21 project is a harbinger of the future. I imagine a day when all transportation, our cars and trucks, our boats, uh, our shipping uh, vessels are all powered by electricity and that electricity is generated from renewable sources of energy. We look forward to creating a greener, greater New York City and we hope that the amazing journey of Sun 21 will help us promote these important new initiatives. I extend my best wishes to the entire crew for an enjoyable stay in New York City. Sincerely, Michael R. Bloomberg, Mayor. Sun 21 is an example for what will happen. It needs five points, you know. You need a vision and a priority. We left everything for half a year. So we have to make this priority in our lives. The second is the technology. It exists, renewable energy. The third is energy efficiency. The boat is built in a way that it needs not much energy compared with other boats. And the fourth is it needs teamwork. We were five people, very different people, but we got along very well because we were united by a common thought and vision. And that can be true for humanity too. And the fifth, it needs some enthusiasm and courage. And then such experiences become an adventure at this level and at the global level.